plate should I use? This is probably the most commonly asked question. The answer is determined by the fitness goals. If you want to build strength, then traditionally you'll want to use heavier weight and less repetitions. If you're working on endurance, then less weight and more reps are required. Each different exercise will most likely require a different amount of resistance. Pick a weight which is at least 50% of your maximum for that exercise. You should be able to do at least eight reps with this weight. If you're unable to complete eight reps, reduce the weight until you can. You should be able to finish the set with only the last few reps requiring close to maximum effort. It will take some trial and error at first, but soon you will become very familiar with your capabilities for each exercise. Remember, it's not how much you lift, but how you lift. How long before I see results? You will start to feel the difference before you see any changes. Within a few weeks, the exercises you struggled with are now being done without any strain. In two or three months, people will start asking you if you've been working out or have gone on a diet. In six to nine months, the change will be apparent to everyone. Be patient. You'll get there sooner than you think. For the chest, we'll be showing you exercises that will develop the pectoral and the deltoid muscle groups. Now that we've discussed some of the most important issues and questions, let's move on to the fun part. Mary and Robert are going to help us demonstrate some of the exercises that can be done with this unit. The bench press is often the measure of one's training success. Not to diminish this accomplishment or goal, it's necessary to emphasize the importance of a balanced program. The chest muscles are not merely a vehicle for demonstrating brute strength. They serve a far greater purpose in the overall protection and coordination of the upper body. Okay, the first exercise that we'll do is the flat bench press. Okay, Robert, if you'll lie back, with, you want your feet positioned a little wider than your hips, flat against the floor, your hips, shoulders, and head down against the bench. Now grab the bar about four to five inches wider than your shoulders. Now Mary, if you'll step up onto the spotter stand here, you're going to give him a good lift as, as on his command. Now make sure you keep the bar in close to your body to use your legs. Okay, once the bar is positioned over the chest, it should be a slow control movement down to the chest. It should be a slight arc down to the middle of the chest, drive it back up over the shoulders. Make sure you breathe properly. Inhale as you lower the weight. Exhale as you drive the weight back up. Make sure you don't arch the back. Keep contact with the bench with all three spots. Okay, on. As you notice, we're using the safety spot stands. This will protect the face in case you cannot finish a rep. It's very important to use a spotter during this exercise. Good. That feel good? Excellent. Good. <laughs> okay, the next exercise we'll be doing is the dumbbell incline press. First of all, set your bench up into the incline position with your lifter setting on the end of the bench with the feet flat on the floor. Lean down and pick up the weight now, Mary, and prop them up onto your knees. Okay, from this position, lean back, simultaneously bringing the weight up to your shoulders with the palms facing out. Now as you drive the weight up, exhale as you go to the top. Nice slow controlled motion. Breathe in as you come down. There you go. If you notice, Robert's spotting from behind by grabbing the wrist in case Mary misses a lift. You don't have to help, but just stay close. In case she misses a rep, you're there to spot. Okay, I recommend anywhere from 8 to 12 reps for this exercise to start with. Now, as you're in the down position, Mary, bring the weight down to your knees as you're leaning forward. There you go. Now you can set the weight down. Good job. All right, the next exercise that we'll be doing is the dumbbell lap pullover. If you'll lay back now, Mary, have your feet positioned against the floor, 
shoulders and hips against the bench. Now, Robert's going to position the dumbbell up onto her chest and she's going to cup her hands around the top plate. From here, she wants to slightly bend her elbows, keeping them pointing forward. Now, the starting movement is you want to reach back in a slow semi-arc and get a good stretch to the back. That's it. Now, exhale as you bring the weight back up. Inhale as you're going down. Exhale as you're coming up. We recommend that you do this exercise with dumbbells only that are either permanently fixed or have a good solid collar system. The main reason for this is that we don't want the head of the weight to fall off and hit you in the head. There you go, that's it, Mary. If you notice, Robert's spotting from behind just for her protection in case she misses a rep. Good, all right, that's good. Bring it back to the chest and lower it down. Good. From there, you can grab it. Good job. Again, I recommend reps anywhere between 8 and 12 to start with on this exercise. Okay, the next exercise that we'll be doing is the dumbbell fly. You want to start by positioning the bench back into the flat position. Now, set on the, set on the bench facing the uprights. Now, if you'll set down with your feet about shoulder width apart, Robert. Now, reach down and grab the dumbbells and pop them up onto your knees. Okay, as you lean back now, bring the dumbbells up into a position above the chest with your palms facing each other. There you go. Now, with a slight bend in the elbows, lower the dumbbells down in a semi-arc, down to position just below the shoulders. Stretch it down. That's it. Good. Now, control it back up into that same arc, back to the starting position. Inhale as you're going down. Exhale as you come up. That's it. Good. You want to think about just wrapping your arms around a tree. Get a good stretch in the bottom. Squeeze it at the top. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Don't bounce it in the bottom. If you notice, Mary's spotting again just to protect him if he misses a rep. I recommend on this exercise to do anywhere between 8 to maybe up to 15 reps when you're starting. Good. All right, from this position now, just pop them back down onto your knees and set up. Good. Good job. Did you feel that stretch in the chest? Feel pretty good. Good job. Shoulder and back. The muscle groups worked in the shoulder and back exercises are the latissimus, the rhomboids, and the trapezius. Almost every daily activity requires some type of back and shoulder involvement. The demands on these muscles can range from a task as simple as placing an item in a shelf overhead to one as complex as a pitcher's throwing motion. By having strong shoulders and upper back, your overall posture will be greatly improved. Okay, the first exercise we'll do here is alternating dumbbell shoulder press. Okay, Robert, if you'll lean down and grab the dumbbells and prop them up onto your knees. Okay, from this position, you want to make sure that you've set your bench up into the military position where it's upright. Now, what you're going to do is pop the dumbbells up to a shoulder position with your palms facing forward. Okay, from here, exhale as you press the weight up, straight up over your head, alternating. There you go. Controlling it on the way back down. Now do both arms. That's it. Single arm, single arm, double arm. Make sure you use a nice controlled motion, stretching it down just to about shoulder at level. Good. Take a deep breath in as you lower it. Exhale as you press the weight up. As you notice, Mary's again spotting from the back just to protect the lifter for in case he misses a rep. Again, I recommend reps of anywhere between 8 and 12 for this exercise. Now lower the weight back down to your knees in a controlled motion. That's it. And then you can set them down onto the ground. Good. The next exercise we'll do is the reverse dumbbell fly. 
you want to make sure you position the bench in the flat position. Now, Mary, if you'll lie down with your head towards this end down here, face first on the ground. Now, you want to grab the dumbbells with your palms facing inward. From this position, you want to raise the dumbbells in a, in a slight arc position to where the dumbbells are just above shoulder level. Pause and return it back down to the starting position. This is really good for overall body posture. I recommend doing anywhere between 12 to maybe up to 20 reps with this exercise. Stay light and just use good form. Here we go. You want to make sure you keep your elbows pointed upward when you get to the top. That's it. Squeeze it. Control it on the way down. Good. Okay, Robert's here just to, just to give her a little incentive, help her up if she can't get it quite to the top. Good, that's good. Did you feel that in your back? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The next exercise we'll be doing is the seated lat pull down. Start by attaching the lat accessory to the front edge of the bench. Now position yourself in under, directly in under the bar. Okay, Robert, if you'll reach up and grab in a wide position here. Now in a slow controlled motion, pull the bar down using your upper back and arms down to the middle of the back. There you go. Make sure you breathe in as you pull down. Exhale as you return it back to that position. This exercise is really good for developing the wide V back. That's it. Make sure that you use the upper back and the arms to pull down. Don't jerk it down with your body. Good. A few more reps there. That's it, Robert. I recommend anywhere between 8 and 12 reps for this exercise. Good. The next exercise we'll do is the one-arm dumbbell pull. Start with the bench in the flat position. Now, stand up, Mary, and place your right knee up onto the bench and extend your right hand out to brace yourself in the front. Now, with your back flat and your head up, reach down and grab the dumbbell. Okay, keep it slightly in front of you. Now, with the elbow pointing up, pull the dumbbell into the chest. Pause it at the top, extend it back down. Nice, slow, and controlled movement. This is, again, another exercise that's really good for posture to work the back. I would use reps of anywhere between 8 and 12 on this exercise, and then alternate to the other side of the body. Make sure that you don't bounce the weight off the ground, but extend fully, then pull it back up in a nice, slow, controlled manner. Breathe in as you pull up. Exhale as you extend it back down. One more rep. Good job. Good. Arms. Exercises for the arms will build your biceps, triceps, forearms, and wrists. Arm strength is important for the most basic demands of everyday life. Pushing, pulling, grasping, and let's face it, looking good. The next exercise we'll be doing is the dumbbell concentration curl. Start by setting on the edge of the bench with your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Place the dumbbell in between your legs. Now reach down and grab the dumbbell, Robert. Position the elbow against the inside of the upper thigh. From here, now curl the bar or curl the dumbbell up to the shoulders. In a nice, slow, controlled motion, inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. This should be a nice, slow, controlled motion doing anywhere from 8 to 12 reps on this exercise. When you're done with one arm, switch over to the other side. Let's switch over to the other side now, Robert. Do a few reps here. 
Again, making sure that you keep the elbow nice and tight against the leg. Squeeze it at the top. Control it on the way back down. Good, about two more reps there. That's it. Good. Next, we're going to do the dumbbell tricep extension. Murray, if you'll sit down facing the uprights on the bench. Okay, start this exercise by grabbing the dumbbell around the top plate, cupping your thumbs around the, around the handle. Start with your elbows in close. Now, extend the bar straight up above your head. That's it. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Make sure that you keep the back flat and the head up while you're doing this exercise. Control the weight back down to the starting position. This is a great exercise for working the triceps. Make sure that you use only dumbbells that are securely connected. I recommend that you do anywhere from 8 to 12 reps for this exercise. Good. One more rep, Mary. Good job. Grab the weight. The next exercise we'll be doing is the preacher curl. Start by attaching the preacher curl attachment to the front edge of the bench. Now adjust the height where it's just underneath the armpits. Place your arms across the pad now, Robert. Now, Mary, grab the bar and position it up into his hands. Now grab a wide grip. Starting in the low position, now curl the bar up towards the shoulder. This should be a nice, smooth motion. Inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. Make sure not to overextend at the bottom to hyperextend the elbows. Again, I recommend reps between 8 and 12. Think about squeezing it at the top. Good. One more rep. Now as you're finished, let Mary grab the bar and rack it back in the stand. Good. Using the lat accessory, the next exercise we'll be doing is the tricep pushdown. Start by stepping up underneath the bar here, Robert. Grab it with about a three to five inch grip. Now position your elbows in close, pointing down, extend it down towards the ground now. Keep the elbows in close. Inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Good. Make sure it's a nice, slow, controlled movement going through the full range of motion. Squeeze it at the bottom, then return back to the top. You want a slight forward lean while doing this exercise. And again, I recommend doing reps of 8 to 12. That's it. Two more good reps. Good job. Waist and abdomen. Muscle groups in the waist and the abdomen area are the rectus, abdominis, or abs, and the hip flexors. As low back pain is a common ailment for men and women of all ages, it's important to understand how abdominal strength plays a vital role in preventing low back pain and injury. In athletics, the torso muscles are important for efficient transfer of power from the lower to the upper body. By placing the bench in the decline position and using the leg developer, we'll now be doing the incline crunch. Okay, Robert, if you'll position yourself down onto the bench and place your knees up over the center roller of the leg developer, letting your ankles come in under the lower pad. Now from this position, cross your hands across your chest 
up to your shoulders. That's it. Now, what you want to do is crunch up to about a 20 to 30 degree angle using the lower ab. That's it. Good. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Make sure that you don't let the back arch or the hips come up off the bench. I recommend doing more reps for this exercise. Anywhere between 20 and 30 is a good place to start. If you feel discomfort in the back, make sure you discontinue this exercise until you've talked to your physician. A couple more good reps here, Robert. If you want to add extra resistance to this exercise, you can hold a plate against your chest. Good. All right, one more. Good job. The next exercise we'll be doing is the roll-up. Again, with the bench in the decline position and using the leg developer, Start the exercise out by starting with your head at the top of the bench. Okay, now you want to reach up and grab the pads to the center part of the developer. This will stabilize you in this position. Start with your legs out straight. Now from here, you want to roll your knees up to your chest. Inhale on the way up. Now extend them back down. Come right back up. That's good. Nice and slow. Really use the lower abs here to pull it up. This is a great exercise for developing the lower abs and hip flexors. I recommend doing reps between 20 and 25 here. Concentrate on not letting the legs go all the way back down to the ground. It should be a nice, smooth motion. Don't lock them out in the bottom. Come right back up. That's it. Two more good reps, Mary. One more. Good. The exercises for the lower body strengthen and tone the gluteus muscles as well as the quadriceps, hamstrings, soleus muscles, and calves. The minimum requirement for each individual is the ability to carry his or her own body weight. As the ability and the efficiency are increased, so is the body's capacity to accommodate greater demands. These demands can range from ascending a staircase to Olympic weightlifting. Almost without exception, greater strength and power in the lower body is the greatest contributing factor to athletic success. The next exercise we'll be doing is the hip extension. Mary, if you'll position yourself onto the bench, lying face down. Now, you want to straddle the bench with half of your body. Grab hold of the upper part of the supports to support your body and extend your legs up to parallel. Now, from this position, in a short arc, raise the leg up, extending it up. That's it. Squeezing the gluteus maximus at the top. That's good. Breathe in as you extend up. Exhale as you go back down. Again, this is a toning exercise, and it's important to do reps anywhere between 20 and 25. Good. Once you finish this side, rotate to the other side and finish your set. It's important to make sure that you don't arch the back during this exercise. Get a couple more good reps here, Mary. One more. Good. The next exercise we'll be doing is the hip abduction. With the bench in the decline position, start by lying down with your head at the top. Reach up and grab the pad of the leg developer and position yourself so that the legs are out straight. Now, pull the toe up, and as you do this, raise the leg straight up to a level just above the hips. This is a great exercise for developing strength and toning the area in the hips. Since this is a toning exercise, I recommend doing reps of 20 to 30. You can add added resistance to this by using ankle weights. After you finish the designated reps, switch over to the other side. Nice, controlled, 
Inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Good job. The next exercise we'll be doing is the leg extension. Robert, if you'll position yourself on the bench. You want to start by hooking the legs over the top pad and in behind the lower pad with your ankles. Keep the back flat and reach back with your hands to position them against the bench to support yourself. Now with the slow controlled movement, extend the legs up. Good. Pause it at the top and return back to the starting position. As you can see, we're using Olympic weights with this setup. This can be done by using the Olympic adapter. Good. This should be a nice, slow, controlled movement. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. Good. Make sure that you don't bounce the weight in the bottom, and make sure the hips are kept on to, in contact with the bench. Again, I recommend doing reps of 8 to 12 for this exercise. A couple more good reps here. Nice and slow. Good job. Squeeze it. That's it. Good. The next exercise we'll be doing is the leg curl. With the bench in the decline position and using the leg developer, lie on the bench facing down. You want to position the knees over the first roller, and the ankles should be in under the top roller. Now, grab the top of the bench up here to support yourself, and from this position, curl the heels up to the upper thigh. That's it. Squeeze it at the top. Exhale on the way down. Good. Breathe in. Exhale down. Nice, slow, and controlled. Don't go down too fast. Make sure not to raise the hips up off the bench while doing this exercise. Good job. Again, I recommend doing reps of 8 to 12 for this exercise. A couple more good reps here. That's it. Make sure that you don't bounce the weight down at the bottom. Make sure it's a nice, full range of motion, nice and controlled. Good. One more. That's it. Good, Mary. Good job. The next exercise we'll be doing is the seated calf raise. Robert's sitting at the end of the bench. Now he's going to position his feet up onto the calf raise box. You want to set them in an area where the balls of the feet are right at the edge. Okay, Mary, if you'll bring the weight up and place it across his knees. That's it. Okay, starting in the bottom position, now extend up with the toes. Push down and extend all the way up. Pause it at the top. Now stretch it all the way back down. Work through the full range of motion at this exercise. For this exercise, I recommend doing reps of 20 to 25. Good. Nice and slow. Really pause it up at the top. Really squeeze those calf muscles. Good. Two more good reps here. Stretch. One more. Good. Okay, Mary, if you'll take the weight off. Good, good job. The next exercise we'll be doing is the leg press. We'll be utilizing the leg press attachment. Robert, if you'll position yourself on the bench. Okay, you want to sit down and place your feet up on the mi in the middle of the press pad here. Lean back against the incline and grab the side of the bench for stability. Now from this position, press out with the legs to almost a locked out position. Pause and then return back to the starting. Exhale as you press. Inhale as you return it back. Good job. Make sure that you don't 
fully extend the legs. Take it out, almost locked out, hold it, and then return to the starting position. Again, I recommend doing reps of 8 to 12 for this exercise. This should be a nice, slow, controlled movement. You want to work it down to where you're almost at 90 degree angle. Good job. A couple more good reps here, Robert. Good. Now that you've started your weight program, you have taken the first steps in changing your appearance. But don't forget that a good physical appearance goes hand in hand with good physical health. Diet is extremely important. This doesn't mean starve, nor does it mean overload. Balance is the key to proper nutrition. In closing, I'd like to congratulate you again on the purchase of your new Impex weight bench. This is only the beginning to a new and improved lifestyle. For you to achieve your fitness goals, consistency is probably the greatest factor for a positive outcome. So now that you've started, stick with it and have fun lifting. Good luck. Now get after it.